Hey, I'm CS Jets and anyone else listening or watching. Today is Friday, January 16th, 2020. Um, we It's about 4.40 p.m. in the afternoon. The building is very quiet. All of you have gone home for the weekend and we're on a three-day weekend. The reason that we have a three-day weekend is Monday. We don't have school because we are celebrating the life and work of Martin Luther King Jr. It's called Martin Luther King Jr. Day. What he did for the civil rights movement and making things more equal for African Americans and for other people of color in this country is very important, something that we should be studying all the time. Um, we will be doing a project in the library in February that will be around Black History Month and civil rights. Um, but it's important to study Martin Luther King Jr. and the impact he had on the country, not just on the country, but on the world. Um, this is a weird way to go into what this video is about. If you saw um, Eli, who's a first grader at um, here at MCES, and me, we were talking about certain military animals, and we were talking about this book. Um, it's called Military Animals. Um, he talked to you about some of his favorite animals that were used in the military, which were dogs which have been used for a really long time in many different situations, and not just by the military, police, highway patrol, firemen. You always, when you think of firemen, you always picture a dog with them too. Um, dogs have been insanely popular and important in battling pretty much anything that is an adversity, fire, um, hard terrain, um, protecting the adults that they are with. Anyway, I was more interested when I looked through this book and I found a huge entry on mules. Okay, friends, mules. Um, I should have thought about how important they were, um, but I didn't think about it. I don't really read a lot about military animals and I'm glad that I have read about them because there are even more interesting animals than that. When you think of mule, you think a mule is a donkey. You're not quite wrong and you're not quite right. A mule is the offspring of a female horse and of a male donkey. Now, mules have been used in every single war and battle America has fought in its entire history since the 1700s when we were fighting for our freedom. They have been used in every single war, okay? They are smarter than donkeys, like I said, but they're also tougher than horses. So instead of using horses a lot, they use mules because mules' um, hooves and bodies could carry a lot more weight. Um, mules were a lot less likely to be injured than horses were. Horses' um, legs are not as um, steady or strong as a mule. So mules tended to outlive and outlast horses and they are smarter than donkeys, which is pretty much is saying that donkeys are kind of stupid. Mules are not, though. They're a pretty amazing animal. I should have just realized their value, but I didn't. Um, I made a mistake before when I said that over a million were used in World War I. That's not true. They were used in World War I, but there are actually a million mules were used during the Civil War. And that makes a lot of sense because there wasn't any, um, there wasn't a lot of other transportation except horses. And so historians actually credit the use of mules in winning one of the biggest battles of the Civil War, which uh, was the Battle of Gettysburg. Gettysburg. The Union Army beat the Rebel Army at the, um, at the Battle of Gettysburg. So they are at, historians actually say, we wouldn't have won that war if it weren't for the mules, for the million mules that we used. Now, not all of one million of them were used at that battle, but mules were a very precious commodity because they would carry ammunition, they would carry guns, they would carry food, tents, other supplies, and they'd even carry injured soldiers to hospital camps. Um, but they can carry almost three so not 3,000 by themselves, a group of six mules can carry almost 3,000 pounds of weight. That is way more than what a donkey or a horse could do. Um, in World War I, which was from 1914 to 1918, I have to take a drink of water, I'm sorry, because I'm talking.
talking about. In World War I, between 1914 and 1918, there were over 300,000 mules used by American and by other um, European alliance countries in Europe. Um, they were so popular and so they were such a huge commodity, which means they were worth a lot of money, a lot of time. Um, they were so valuable that Germans would bomb ships or take down ships that they knew were carrying mules to Europe because they knew that mules in the past had helped people win wars. So Germans would try to bomb them. Now we beat the Germans and whether that had a lot to do with the mules or not, you never know. Um, but they are pretty darn important. They actually are used today too. Um, they are trained by uh, military um, soldiers and they are used a lot in Afghanistan where the ter terrain is very rocky, it's very mountainous, um, it's hard to get by. And mules in Afghanistan are seen, are, uh, in, especially in the mountains, when they're using them in the mountains, are seen as being more useful than helicopters, Apache helicopters and Humvees because the mules are smaller and they can get into smaller areas than a Humvee could or even an Apache helicopter could. So they see mules are still as valuable today in certain regions of the world, just as much as they were back in the 17 and 1800s when we were using them to fight um, the Revolutionary War and the Civil War without any other kind of transportation. I don't know if there are gonna be any more videos uploaded um, for the rest of the weekend, I have no idea. Um, I know that it's time for me to go home and start my three day weekend. If I have any teachers that email me any videos, I will immediately upload them or upload them as soon as I possibly can. If you've watched all these new videos, go back and watch some of our old ones. I read an entire book. I read it, Dr. Doolittle, all the way starting back. I think uh, it goes back to 2017. Um, you can see Miss Smith reading most of The Secret Garden. She also does a drawing tutorial where she uh, draws pumpkins. It's really cool. And now we have these new teachers um, making videos. Miss Moore has one where she just wants to say hi. And I just made one with Eli. So I just want to let you know, Jets, that we care about you. We love you. And we think about you 24-7. That's one of the reasons this station exists is so you guys can see us whenever you need to or want to. I want you guys to have a great, safe three-day weekend. I love you guys. Bye.